In this video, I will compare Sunsama versus Motion and tell you which of these scheduling tools may be best for you and your needs. So let's first cover what exactly they do and who they are made for. Now you will see that Motion actually uses AI to schedule your meetings and basically it optimizes your day using AI to help save you time. Now in terms of features, Motion has a calendar which is run by the AI, or at least the AI helps you with your calendar. Then they have the project manager, a task manager, meeting assistant and some integrations with for example Zoom, Google Meet and more. Now comparing this to Sun Samai, you can see they claim they will help make your work-life balance a reality. So that's what Sun Samai is focused on. They will focus on your work-life balance. Now the features that will help you do that in Sun Sama are a guided daily planner. So you will need to plan out your day every single day. And that way you can really see what you're doing every single hour. But that's just a basic planner, of course. That's nothing special and it doesn't use AI right here. Then a pretty cool feature is that you have a unified daily view, which means that you can pull in tasks from Trello, Asana, emails from Gmail and Outlook, and meetings from your calendar. Then you can also set daily goals, so decide how long you want to work on each task and your workday at a reasonable time. Then they have the time box right here, so here you will have the tasks that you want to do today, and then you can simply drag them into your calendar, and then you will have these boxes right here, and it does give a very nice overview of your day. But the main feature that I like most about Sunsama is that you can really easily integrate with Asana, ClickUp, GitHub, Jira, Linear, Monday, Notion, Todoist, Trello, and more. And for example, if you have a task in Asana, you can simply drag it into your Sunsama account, and that way it's very easy to integrate those. And you will also see the imported tasks stay in sync. So if you import a task from GitHub, and the person that assigned it to you on GitHub changes, for example, the due date, then it will also update in Sunsama, which is, of course, very important. So basically, Sunsama is more aimed at individuals that want to really clearly have their calendar, set goals and have tasks set up in, and really easily import tasks into their calendar so that they can create work blocks. In this block, I'm going to do this task. In this block, I'm going to do that task, etc. Now, as I said, Sunsama is really aimed at individuals. You can see in their pricing, they have a 14 day free trial and then they have a yearly subscription at $16 per month and then a monthly subscription at $20 per month. Now this is pretty affordable, also comparing it with Motion, you can see Motion's pricing starts at, for individuals, $19 per month when you bill annually. Now if you bill monthly, it's actually $34 per month. So that's a pretty huge difference. So I would honestly, if you want to use Motion, bill annually because you will save nearly half of your money. Now the task here is for individuals, I would not use Motion for individuals. Personally, I would only use Motion if you're working in teams, because then you will also get the most out of the AI that will see the best available places for every single meeting, for everybody that will be in that meeting. So therefore, if you are looking for a tool to optimize your schedule in a team setting, so if your team is also looking to do that, then I would go with Motion. If it's just you and you just want to optimize your schedule and you're not necessarily working together with your team on a lot of different meetings and this is just you that wants to optimize your schedule, then I would go with Sunsama. Now, they are both great tools, but again, they do cater to pretty different needs and now you know that. So that concludes this comparison of Sunsama versus Motion. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.